Dry camping, dispersed camping, boondocking, are they the same thing or are they different? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and we make videos all about camping with the hopes of making your camping experience that much better. Today I'm going to do my best to try and distinguish the differences and similarities between dry camping, dispersed camping, and boondocking. So first off is dry camping. Dry camping is any time you're camping in an RV without the benefit of a hookup. Now, with dry camping, you can be in a campground or out of a campground. The main thing is the distinction is you're camping without hookups. Now, I can see that you could be in a campground without hookups. You could be in a parking lot at like Cabela's or Walmart without hookups camping. You could be at a festival, no hookups, it's all dry camping. Actually, dispersed camping and boondocking are forms of dry camping. Now, dispersed camping. Dispersed camping is a subset of dry camping. The difference is, with dispersed camping, you're camping outside of any organized campground. You're taking advantage of public lands, like BLM land, national forests, national park lands, as an example where you're going out into those lands, dispersing or spreading out and going deeper into the woods and setting up your camp there. So boondocking, to me, boondocking is the same thing as dispersed camping, but you're doing it specifically with an RV. The kind of camping that I like to do is dispersed camping in my RV and in my tent, sometimes in the tent, most of the time in the RV. Problem with the term boondocking is it gets used so loosely on YouTube, on the internet, and just in conversation where people are referring to boondocking when really I believe it's dry camping. But I think dispersed camping best describes what we do, Holly and I at Let's Go Now Adventures, as our favorite type of camping, and that's being spread out, getting out into nature, far away from campgrounds, a little, you know, putting some distance between us and other campers. You know, dispersed camping can be in a tent, and we do that sometimes but we do it in our RV most of the time. So you've got your dry camping, your dispersed camping, and your boondocking. I hope that I shed just a little bit of light on what the differences and the similarities are between those three types of camping. I know that some of you are gonna have some disagreements. Some may be strong disagreements. I really do invite you to leave those disagreements in the comments below, or maybe you feel like I didn't add something that was important. Also, comment below. You know, this season we're gonna be doing a lot of our videos focusing on dispersed camping. So if that's the kind of camping you'd like to learn more about or that you're into, hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit that little bell notification that says that you'll be notified when we release each of our videos. Yeah, I wanna thank you for your time today. I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and I'll see you on the next adventure.